Yay! Welcome to another episode of Ask Fran. As you guys know, today I will be talking about all the digital tools and devices I'm currently using for my illustrations. So let's go into this incredible adventure! Oh, wait. This, my lovely nerds, is my desk. Here is where I spend the majority of the day working, painting with watercolors, answering your comments and emails, updating my blog and watching dumb stuff on Tumblr. <laughs> so here's a little list of the tools and devices I'm using for my digital illustrations. I'm using the Canon EOS M for taking pictures and also for my videos actually. Um, oh, and I'm also using a 32 GB memory card. This, my dear friends, is the first tablet I ever bought. It's the Wacom Bamboo in the smallest size. I think they changed the name of the tablet and even the design of the tablet. Not right now it's different, but my most sincere advice is if you want to invest in a good tablet or if you're thinking and getting serious with illustration, I highly suggest to buy one of these. And of course, my Wacom Cintiq. There you go. Oh wait, there's something there. Okay, this is how my desk looks like every single day. No, that's a lie, that's a lie. This is how my desk looks like every day. So if I'm using my computer for something, there's usually two reasons for that. The first reason, I have an illustration, for example, painting with watercolors, and I just need to cut the illustration or modify a little bit the colors. So this is the part when you have to use your scanner and be super professional, but since I don't have a scanner yet, I usually use my camera. So if you're using your camera, you have to make sure to place the camera in front of the illustration and be super, super careful that all the lines are straight. That way the illustration will be complete with no perspective, just like if you were scanning the picture. Also, you have to make sure that the light is neutral and bright. For example, I love taking pictures in the morning, like 9 or 10 a.m., just in front of my window. Once you took the picture, open it in Photoshop, turn the picture. Oh, crap. Okay, here we go. So the first thing I do is to cut all the excess I don't want in my illustration. This is why I usually, it's so, so, so important to take the picture without any type of perspective or straight edges. Because in this step, if there's any huge perspective problems, you will notice them immediately. If you press the letter C on your keyboard, the crop tool will appear. I think I only use shortcuts in Photoshop because everything is faster than clicking every single button on the thingy. So anyway, use the crop tool to cut all the excess until you're completely satisfied with the result. Once I am super happy with the cutting situation, I select the curves tool. Since it's a picture and not a perfect scan image, the light won't be as clean and perfect. So that's why I like to use the curves tool to correct all the light and contrast imperfections. I also like to use the color balance tool for giving a little bit of warm to my pictures and illustrations. A little bit of red here, a little bit of blue there. If you're not super happy with the curves tool, you can also modify light and contrast with, well, brightness and contrast option, duh. And that's it, guys. I usually don't modify so much my watercolors illustrations, just a little bit the colors. I think I will update these tutorials once I get in a scanner, but for now, this is all you can get. Reason number two for using my computer is when I need to actually paint my illustration with Photoshop. So if you have a normal sketch, oh wait, ah, oh, much better. So if you have a regular normal sketch, I think it doesn't really matter if the picture is super high quality. So in this case, I just take the picture with my phone. Yeah, super professional on my phone. <laughs> so take the picture, be careful again with the edges. Remember, they have to be really straight and focus the picture and just press click. After that, you have to just take out the picture you took and see if the resolution is okay 
or if the camera focus your image properly. So this is when I use my Cintiq. If you have never seen a Cintiq before, you have to plug your Cintiq in with two cables, and a standard USB and a VGA cable. Oh Jesus, I hate when this happens. Plus, you will have to plug your Cintiq in a separate socket. Plug? Well, you get it. First, I open the picture I took with my cell phone. The most important thing here is, since the resolution is not high, the second you open the picture, you have to change the resolution from 72 to 300 dpi. You will immediately notice the image now it's bigger and maybe the resolution looks kind of strange in the photograph, but the most important thing is everything you will draw over this sketch it will be done in a really good quality. So since the illustration is already done, uh, I can show you how I illustrate it. The tool that I use the most in Photoshop is the brush. I think it's by far the best tool in Photoshop for my illustrations. So I don't know if you can see this, but oh wait, let me click the white layer. So yeah, okay. So I draw everything in different layers. Usually the outline of the illustration is in one layer. Well, in this case, I have to put the dog and the girl in two different ones. All the colors in different layers. So the features are in one layer, the skin is in another layer, hair, clothes, and so on. That way, if I need to modify one color, it's easier to do this if it is in one individual layer. At least that works for me. Tell me in the comment section below what method do you use. I'm really glad with my Wacom Cintiq tablet. I have this baby since, oh wow, I think three years now, and it's the best investment I ever made. The best thing is that you can modify all the buttons, so you can program the buttons in the Cintiq with all the shortcuts you use the most. So that's it, my nerds. I hope you found this video useful and helpful in a way. I had the greatest time filming it. <laughs> so don't forget to check out my Etsy shop. I have cool stickers and my awesome travel journal for sale, so yoohoo! I hope you're having a great day and I see you soon!